I failed my students. One of the worst bullying epidemics in the history of Gilroy Rose High School happened right under my nose, and I didn't even notice it. I see. And what action has been taken against this Harrison Mercer? I had him expelled immediately of course. Although with his popularity, and him being the son of two town council members, it's created a lot of noise already. I see. Standard procedure was indeed followed then. Mr. Peterson. If I may, there's going to be a lot of... You may have a chance to speak again later Mr. Hopper. Mrs. Delgado, what actions did you take during the 2015-2016 school year regarding the incidents involving a sixth grader named Paul Sanchez? There wasn't much I could do. As far as I was aware, Paul only got involved in a series of escalations. Nobody ever complained about Harrison Mercer. I thought he'd only had a problem with another student, Rufus Dileski. That'll be all. Past students are not relevant. Procedure has been followed, so I'm willing to dismiss this meeting. Unless, of course, anybody has anything else to add. What about the parents? Gilroy Rose is going to come under a lot of pressure after this. We have completely and utterly failed to protect our students. In all my years of teaching, I have never come across such vile behavior towards other students. Several of them came up to me at the end of the day, and I heard it all. Friends leaving home. Self-harm. Suicidal thoughts. Students being attacked and assaulted by those damn thugs. It's hard for me not to be angry. I failed. We all failed. If you ask me, the parents are the least of it. We need to make sure this never, ever, happens again. Calm down Mr. Hopper. We all know that bullying is a part of school life. No matter what we do, it's impossible to end it completely. I understand that Mr. Peterson. Bullying scuffles between students are always going to happen. But we can never let it happen on this scale. There were obvious warning signs everywhere. And we didn't even spot them. I suppose you're right. I suggest having anti-bullying pamphlets distributed to every student. This situation will die down soon. We must keep quiet to avoid making it any worse. As you all know, we can't be found liable. Mr. Peterson, the number of policies we've all breached. Our duty of care. I know. And if they ever found out that we don't have the budget to cover any legal costs, well, it's better if we keep quiet. Hell, even handing out pamphlets is pushing it. Mr. Peterson, let's just be honest here. This is not 1988. Things have changed, I've seen it for myself. I don't claim to be tech savvy. But by now, this will be all over social media. Some soccer moms are going to see it, and that'll be all she wrote. It's better, if we at least hold a conference for the parents. Let them ask any questions, or voice any concerns. It might help calm them down a bit. I'll consider it Mr. Hopper, thank you. For now, I'm calling this meeting. Procedure has been followed, and it's getting late. If necessary, we'll call another meeting down the road, just to see if the situation develops any further. Though as we all know, playground politics die hard and fast. Even with the internet. Dismissed. Mr. Peterson. You both can email me if you have any further concerns. Good evening. This whole thing is going to blow up in Graham's face. I had a similar situation involving a couple of students and Facebook, about five or six years ago. These things don't end well. Believe me I know. It's virtually impossible to police the internet. And to be honest, I don't even know if we can police our schools anymore either. We never can Catherine. The students will always take charge in some way. Speaking of which, this Rufus Dolesky you mentioned earlier. What else do you know about him? Do you think any of the students will bring him up? I know he was a friend of Harrison's. Very bright. But something was off about him. Whenever I tried to contact his parents, they never answered. And nothing ever came of it. He was sort of a ghost. But I never had any recurring major issues involving him and other students. In fact, they all seemed to admire him.
just like with Harrison. I've had a few complaints before about him supposedly upsetting some students, but nothing ever came of it. He always had an explanation. And all the students really admired him too. There's a lot more to this than we both know now, and it's all going to come spiraling out over the next few weeks. If you need a shoulder to lean on, I'm here to take care of some of the admin work. I'd really appreciate it, Catherine. Hopefully, we can sort this out. You know, some of those students that came up to me today, they were practically in tears. The things they told me almost made me want to cry with them. It's just so goddamn unfair on them. The world isn't fair, Jonathan. That's one of the unfortunate things that we have to teach them. Yes, that's true, of course. Well, I'll see if I can catch up with you over the weekend. Have a good evening, Catherine. You too, Jonathan. Good luck. To you as well. I'm so sorry. Please, don't worry. I'm going to sort this out. Do you have any idea what the hell you've done? Is this all just a fucking joke to you? Dad, I'm telling you it was Rufus. I didn't bully Ed. Did you hear me the first time? You did it. Not Rufus, you. Don't give me the shit about Rufus. Is Rufus even real? Or is he just some bullshit imaginary friend you made up, just so you wouldn't have to take responsibility for your actions? Mom. Dad. I'm so sorry. Is. Is there anything I can do, to make it up to you? To everyone? I swear, I never wanted to hurt people. Rufus made me do- Bullshit. You're only sorry because you got caught. Now go to your room. Come on dad. And you better pray that nobody comes to this house tonight asking about you. Because you're gonna be the one who takes responsibility for whatever sick, twisted fucking thing you ever do to them. What in the hell, just happened? I don't even know what to say. Even so, are you sure you weren't, too hard on him? I haven't seen you scream at anyone like that, ever since Ramona, well. I was as hard as I needed to be on both occasions. And I'm gonna do everything, to make sure he never turns out like a saint. It's our duty as parents, to punish him. For his own good. I'm not just concerned about his punishment. That's easily done. But it's not like we can ground him for a million years. And no matter what we do, it isn't going to bode well for our relationship with the other council members. Pretty soon we'll have a mob down here, especially with what he's done. I know. In all our years of campaigning, we've always known that people don't forget these things. For now, I suggest we let him be, while we decide how to confront this, after we've all the time to calm down a bit. Harrison. Brianna, get on Instagram right now. Do something about all this bullshit. Get that video taken down. Flag it. Do whatever you have to do. Harrison, it's over. You lost. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh don't give me that bullshit. Just do it. As I was saying, there's nothing I can do about it. And there's nothing that I want to do about it either. I'm not taking your shit anymore, got it? Enjoy rotting away in your room.
Hey guys, look at this. Oh damn, it's Rufus. Yeah, missing since the 16th. Come to think of it, that was exactly two weeks ago. The same day we took down Harrison. Well to be honest, it was mostly just you who took him down Paul. I wouldn't have had the balls to do that myself. Thanks. But I really couldn't have done it without you guys. Paul, he's out of your life now. So is Harrison. You don't need to worry about them anymore. I don't know, I'm just... I'm still a little upset that it all happened to begin with. Are you sure you're okay, Paul? I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Maybe I'm still shocked about it all being over. It's crazy, but I can just return to a normal life now. I don't need to be afraid of going to school anymore, and neither does anyone else. By the way, have any of you seen Dominic around? No, I haven't really seen him since we exposed Harrison. I hope he's alright. Maybe he's just been busy with his college entrance exams and applications and all that. Yeah, that makes sense. What a difference a couple weeks makes. Yeah. But it's probably gonna take a while for us all to adjust. I think we're all forgetting just how much, we all lived in fear of Harrison and his gang. I can't believe how some assholes can just, you know. What do you mean? How they can just, scar you for life. It's not fair, you know? Yeah I know. It's gonna take me a while to get over probably. Hey Paul? Oh man, I just wanted to say thank you. You saved me. You have no idea what he did to me. Thank you for ending it. No problem. He'd gotten away with it all for too long. Damn right he did. My mom is gonna sue the hell out of his family. I can't wait to see the look on his stupid face when he sees our family lawyer. Your family's gonna sue him? Yet. Yeah. We're filing a lawsuit against his sorry ass real soon. Fuck yeah. That little bitch Harrison is gonna get his ass handed to him in court. Paul, you doing okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, this is all still kind of overwhelming. These past two weeks, people have been coming up and apologizing to me and thanking me. I used to just hang around as a nobody. But now, everybody comes up to me. It's just kind of strange, that's all. Like I said Paul, this is all gonna take some getting used to. I'm sure it'll die down soon. We better hurry up, we don't want to be late. What was that? Mrs. Sinclair, I'm extremely sorry. You have no idea how difficult this is for- Difficult? My daughter's boyfriend came home, beaten black and blue one night. She didn't even tell me. And now you think giving out anti-bullying pamphlets is gonna solve everything? Don't even pretend to understand what we've all been through as parents. What if it was your daughter? How would you feel if that rotten bastard even touched her? I feel awful about this Mrs. Sinclair. I do. These students are like my children, in many ways. But what you're asking for is beyond my pay grade. Don't give me that shit. This meeting is over. And we're going to see this whole damn district for all it's worth. Hi. Hi. Are you Paul Sanchez? Um, yeah. I'm so pleased to meet you. Thank you so much for taking down that bully. My daughter Rachel told me everything that happened. And we're going to make sure he pays for what he did to you all. My name is Janet by the way. But I'd prefer to be called Mrs. Sinclair. I've just started an organization called Parents Against Bullying, or PAB for short. And I was wondering Paul if you would consider coming forward and being a speaker for us. As we understand it, you were the first victim of those terrible thugs. Um, yes, I was. I'm so sorry that you had to go through all that. 
the staff really should have done something to stop it. But they didn't. They did nothing. And that's not okay. It's disgusting. And that's why we need you to come forward. We need you to tell us as much as you can, so we can bring every single bully involved, to justice. Well um, I'll think about it. But I don't know just yet. Please let us know soon. The longer you wait, the longer that tyrant Harrison is going to go unpunished. Do you really think that his parents are going to discipline him properly, with the way he acts? Of course not. And that's why we need to work together. I know you need to get to class, so I won't keep you any longer. But please say hello to your mother for me. Charlene and I went to school together. It would be so nice to catch up. And remember Paul, when you're ready to do the right thing, we'll all be here to support you. Come on, we have work to do. It's time we start litigation. Oh, hello kids. Were you listening? Well, sort of. We were just passing by. I'm very sorry you had to hear that. Some parents are still very upset about all the bullying. I'm sure you all understand. Mr. Hopper, are you all right? I'm fine, Miss Locklear. These things happen. Now, since you're all a couple minutes late to class, I will vouch for you. I'll let your teachers know you were held up. I don't think any of us need to be dealing with any wasteful detentions at a time like this. Mom, I'm home. We're almost done, Mommy. Yes, we are, honey. You've been a big help. I can even stay in the lines better. Very good. Mom? Oh, hi, Paul. I didn't hear you come in. Look, Paul. Me and Mommy are doing an art project. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it's really nice. Mom, what's this? Mrs. Sinclair contacted me earlier. Gosh, we haven't spoken in so long. But she asked me if I'd be interested in being a part of this. She also said that she saw you at school and talked with you about it too. She was glad to have met you. It's a shame you won't help us though. Mom, don't you think this is all a bit fast? I mean, we've only just heard about PAB, and Dominic's video really should be all the evidence they need. Talia, honey, I can finish the rest myself. You've been such a big help. Go ahead and have a cookie. I put them out on the counter. Yes! Listen, Paul. I know this is difficult. But it's really important we make sure that this doesn't happen again. Just tell them your story, and it'll all be done and over with. Dad, myself, and all the other parents will handle everything else. I don't know, Mom. It still hurts to think about it. I know, hun. They caused us a lot of pain. And that's why it's really important we make sure that the school doesn't fail to protect its students ever again. I didn't really think that bullying was this big of an issue until, well, until it happened to you. Look, this isn't only about justice. It's about setting an example and making sure the students can come to school and know they're in a safe environment. And since Harrison's parents are both on the council, I worry about what they're planning to do to our town. With a son like that, they can't be that moral. I get where you're coming from, Mom. Maybe I'll come and help later. I don't want you to feel like you're being pressured, Paul. Just remember that we need to do everything we can to put a stop to bullying and to hold the school accountable when it does happen. I understand, Mom. Like I said, I'll think about it.